leader of that group is Gabby Smith. She's averaging 10 points, three rebounds after coming over from Ball State and Iowa Western. One note for the Vikings in their starting lineup today. In fact, in uniform today, Destiny Leo will not play. It is simply a day off for Leo. Vikings are coached by Chris Kilsmeyer. Kelsmeyer in his fourth season at Cleveland State, 51 and 40 with the Vikings overall, 467 wins, 152nd, 56 losses in his 22nd season. He spent nine seasons at Division III Howard Payne University in Texas, 10 years at Wayne State College in Nebraska. The officials for today's game. Here's a look at Coach Kilsmeyer as he talks to his starting five before they get ready to play. It'll be Cleveland State's first game in 15 days due to some protocol restrictions. They were unable to play their game against Akron, scheduled for the 12th of December. Today's game originally was supposed to be played against Hofstra. There you get a look at Frank Sterator. He is the lead official for today's game. Angie Enlin and Randy Henry are the two other officials for tonight's contest. We're about ready to go. Ball is in the air as the Vikings will control the tip initially tapped away by Dumas. Vikings are in their home whites trimmed in green. They'll go from left to right three in the air by Smith. The start hits the heel long rebound grab by Taylor Norris of the Trailblazers. And Blazers will bring it ahead. Crossover outside whole yard 4-3. That's the front of the rim no good. Rebound by Zinjeska outlet to Williams, she'll charge it ahead. Williams back to Zinjeska, spots for three. Will miss wide left. No good, underneath, rebound by Smith, outside to Gradwell. Just underway, first quarter here from downtown Cleveland. Vikings and Trailblazers, no score. Underneath the Dumas, up and under, good. Nadia Dumas has the first two of the ball game for Cleveland State. She'll compete with Rachel Gillum all day. Gillum in her last Outing 16 points, 14 rebounds. There's a steal by Cleveland State. Take it away by Williams. Ahead to Gradwell. Outside, Smith for three. She's short, rebound. Tried to control it was Gillum. Off of Gillum, out of bounds. Off of Cleveland State. And the Blazers will have it. Ohio Christian was made available this afternoon uh, for the makeup game for Cleveland State when... Hofstra was unable to travel due to COVID precautions. Ohio Christian, that's a three-pointer no good by Emma Coons, the freshman from North Lawrence, Ohio. Went to Massel and Tesla High School. Vikings had their game against Hofstra canceled and Shawnee State was unable to play against Ohio Christian. So the teams were able to connect. Three in the air by Zinjeska, short again. Rebound by Bolliard. Two nothing Cleveland State. A minute and a half gone here in the first quarter. So the two teams were able to call each other, contact each other and set this game up here this afternoon. Cleveland State again looking for an opportunity to play for the first time in 15 days. Nice hook pass underneath by Norris. Found Emma Coons underneath. And the Blazers have their first points of the game. 2-2. Two, two. two minutes in. Smith topside. To Gradwell to the outside. Zinjevska's going to launch another one, and she finally hit one. Zinjevska now one for three, coming in with shooting two of ten from distance. 5-3 Cleveland State. Gillum at the foul line. Inside the lane. Had a long right hook, no good. Rebound by Dumas as Dumas kept her away from the low block. This one to Gradwell ahead for Cleveland State from Williams. Gradwell missed the bunny underneath. Rebound by Gillum. Gillum will lob it ahead. Coons will have it. Rachel Bulliard has it. Bulliard familiar in some sense with the floor here at Cleveland State. She played against the Vikings when she was a member of the Davis and Elkins team. There's a traveling call. As Norris took a couple of steps, she tried a Euro step up inside and then took one more. Here's Isabel Geraci with her first appearance this afternoon. She'll take over for 
Isabel Gradwell. Isabella Jarenci, the senior from North Bridgeville, appearing in her 85th career game for Cleveland State. 4.2 rebounds per night for Jarenci. Jarenci to Zinyeska, who has it blocked by Gillum trying to get it inside. Back to Smith on the outside, and Gabby Smith drains a three. Smith shooting almost 30% from the outside. Comfortable out there. Knocked it down. <laughs> 13 to shoot, three in the air. Missed in the corner, did Norris. A two ball game ahead to Smith. Smith's going to take on Mitchell, and we have a whistle and a foul. Our first of the game is on Darcy Mitchell, the sophomore from London, Ohio. Nadia Dumas will take a seat. Checking in for Dumas is Amel Guafung. Guafung, a six foot junior out of Silver Springs, Maryland, averaging nine points, seven and a half rebounds so far this season in six games. This will be Smith, the righty, firing again and knocking it down. A whistle and we got a timeout, 30-second timeout called by the Trailblazers. Allison Strickland wants to talk to her club. Three. This one tapped back outside, kicked over to Gabby Smith, and from the left wing, she drained one, and she would get her second three-pointer of the game. Right here, hitting from the right wing and knocking it down. Smith leads all scorers. She has six. Cleveland State three of seven from distance, four of nine on the game, and of the four field goals made, all of them have had an assist with them, whereas Ohio Christian is just one of six of the Trailblazers from the floor so far in the ball game. Cleveland State leaders 11 to two early on in this matchup against the Ohio Christian Trailblazers under the NAIA. A replacement game for Cleveland State originally scheduled to play Hofstra this afternoon here at the Wolstein Center. Little floater is good. Nice little push shot inside. Taylor Norris with her first two. Kwafung with it in the block, took an extra step before she got rid of the basketball and did get called for the travel. That was the whistle and the call by Randy Henry. 
Vikes by seven, Norris with the basketball, picked up by the Vikings' Deja Williams. Off to Bolliard, back to Norris, inside it goes to the leading scorer for the Trailblazers, Rachel Gillum, soft shot from six. And Ohio Christian with two buckets in a row, it's four quick points. And it's an 11-6 ball game. Zinyeska from the foul line outside of Williams. Williams topside back to Geraci. Left wing it goes. Smith with the basketball. Pounds the hardwood back to Williams. Thought about a three. Kicks it right side. Geraci to Zinyeska in the corner. She'll pull up for three. This one is short. Frost the rim. No good. Rebound controlled by Darcy Mitchell. Mitchell will push it ahead for the Blazers into the front court. Left side, Bolin. Thought about a three. She'll pull it down. Now foul line extended. It belongs to Gillum. Gillum on a give and go underneath. Missed underneath for... The Trailblazers was Darcy Mitchell. Vikings with a rebound, they're out and running. Geraci to the baseline, up and under. Sits on the rim, won't fall. Rebound by Gillum. Another board for Rachel Gillum. Her second in the game. Fifth overall for OCU. Little give and go. Gillum with a nice move, a little strong over the rim. No good, Zinevsky with a rebound, off to Smith. Smith will jog it ahead. She'll push it in the forecourt, slipped and traveled. And a whistle and a couple of subs coming in. Cleveland State will bring Dumas back in for Guafong. And we will see Reed Dunbar. First time this afternoon we've seen Dunbar. Freshman, 5'6 guard out of Columbus, Worthington High School. Vikings by five. Four minutes to play first quarter. Bolliard will work towards the hash mark. Try to get it inside to Gillum. Now a bounce pass outside. Kuhn, or check that. Norris with a deep three off the rim. No good. Vikings will run down the loose ball. That's Williams pushing it ahead. Smith underneath. Nice end-to-end -end play by Cleveland State. They get the rebound. Williams with a long baseball pass ahead. Smith underneath catches it with a soft touch. Bolin for three. Good. Rachel Bolin, who has been on fire as of late as well, Knocks down the three. It's a four-point game. 13-9, Cleveland State. Six and a half minutes play here, first quarter. Zinevska on the floor, has it stolen away. Ball still loose. We're fighting for it. It'll go off of Cleveland State, out of bounds, as Dumas was the last one to touch it. Dunbar was there for Ohio Christian. Couldn't control, and with it, Ohio Christian will have the basketball. Down by four. Vikings led this 11-2. It's a 7-2 run for the Blazers. Ohio Christian out of Circleville, Ohio. For those of you that want to put that on a map, it's about 25 miles due south of Columbus. Member of the NAIA. Boland crosses over, leaves it there for Norris. Norris working right side and had it knocked away by Smith. School was founded in 1948. Currently have about 3,600 enrolled. Big rainbow by Norris is no good. High rebound controlled by the Vikings Dumas. Ahead to Williams. Williams gonna go through three players. Gets contact, goes down, no call. Will play on. Zinevska back out to Smith, left wing. Picked up there by Coons. Down baseline for Gradwell and a soft 12 footer by Isabel Gradwell, who's averaging 6.5 boards per night, gets her first two today. Lead is back to six. Bolin on the wing, left wing, has the basketball, leaves it for Norris, curls a pass inside to Gillum, now back outside and threw it away. Was looking for a cutter. And couldn't find it. Two sixteen to play first quarter. Cleveland State with the basketball. Williams will walk it ahead. Off to Smith on the left side. Picked up there by Coons. Coons will drop it, or Vikings will drop it baseline before it's poked away. Norris comes out of the pack with it. She'll stop at the foul line. Tried to use the glass. Got it to go too far. Hit the heel, but no glass. And Yeska with a rebound. And runs it ahead for Smith. The Vikings are back on the offensive end. They lost 20 seconds. Williams to Gradwell at the foul line. Left side of the lane. Missed the shot. Picked up the foul. Second foul of the quarter. Called. 
Rachel Gillum is called for the foul. A couple of changes coming. Geraci in, Smith out, Guafung out. Nope, Guafung will stay in for Gradwell. She'll come on for Gradwell as soon as Gradwell is done with her two shots. Gradwell at the line this year, 11 of 14, make it 12 of 15, 80% at the line now for the junior out of Marshalltown, Iowa. One shot coming for Gradwell, looking for her fourth of the game, and it rolls off. Shooter's touch just not there, sat on the rim and eventually fell off. Vikings by seven. Largest lead today has been nine. They were up 11-2. Coons to Dunbar to Gillum outside. Bolin for three off the heel. High rebound controlled by Dunbar. Reed Dunbar back to Gillum at the top of the key. Working against Dumas off the glass. Nice move by Rachel Gillum. Gillum now with four points. Leads the Trailblazers underneath the Dumas up and under. And that's a move that... Nadia Dumas has worked on for three years and is now almost unstoppable. If she can turn that corner, she will find the glass and find the bottom of the hoop. Dumas now with four. An 18 to 11 game. Nevea McClure, she'll give it off to Rachel Bolliard. Bolliard back to Gillum. Gillum and Bolliard play big minutes. Bolliard's going to get the hoop and the harm. Rachel Gillum will go to the free throw line, and she will shoot the bonus. The traditional three-point play coming. Foul is on Nadia Dumas, her first. Cleveland State's first here in the first quarter. 18-13, this to make it a four-point game. Gillum's free throw is in and out, no good. Deja Williams, right side. Zinyeska, ball above her head, fires a pass top side. Geraci will move it to the left wing. Guafung has it at the foul line. Outside, Geraci pulls the trigger, three in the air, long, rebound Gillum. Gillum will leave it there for Lily Martin, who checked in. Martin over to Bulliard. Bulliard in her last outing, 17 points, two rebounds. Working against Williams, has some space, gonna go to the rack and got it to go. Rachel Bulliard all the way to the glass. Gets it to knock down at the buzzer. Good, Rachel. Or check that Deja Williams at the buzzer from 35 and the trademark. And dropped it in for a three-pointer as the first quarter comes to a close. 21-15, Cleveland State by six with the first quarter in the books. We'll take a timeout, come back right after this.
Well, some excitement to close out the first quarter there. You see Deja Williams draining a big three at the buzzer. Was reviewed during the break, confirmed as the pictures show you the ball, obviously, out of Williams's hand before the horn and light came on. So a six-point advantage for Cleveland State after one. 21-15, we're underway here second quarter. Ohio Christian University with the basketball to start. Got a whistle and a foul. Foul's gonna be called on number 34 for Cleveland State. Gabby Smith, that is Smith's first, first for Cleveland State. Vikings will have Smith on the floor along with Grafong, Dumas, Zinevska, and Geraci. Big lineup for Cleveland State. Darcy Mitchell, Bolliard, Norris, Coons, and Gillum out there for Ohio Christian ball tapped away. Still belongs to the Trailblazers. Vikings 50% from the floor, eight of 16. Ohio Christian seven of 18 in the first quarter. Curl pass to Boylan. She'll hold her balance, stay in bounds. Picked up by Zinevska. Topside it goes to Norris. Norris with a deep three, got it. Taylor Norris with the second three pointer of the ball game for the Blazers. Norris now with five. It's a 21-18 game. Smith tried to even the score there with her own. On the backside, a rebound by Zinevska. She puts it back up and in. Barbara Zinevska now with five for Cleveland State, and it's a five-point lead for the Vikes. Borland's going to launch a three. That one's in and out, no good. A rebound underneath, crashing the boards was Nadia Dumas. Dumas out to Geraci. Geraci pushing ahead. Geraci foul line extended. Out to Zinevska for three. In and out, no good. A rebound, Coons. Take it away momentarily by the Vikings' Isabel Geraci as she stepped in, tapped it away. Brittany Moore coming on for Cleveland State. And for well, Christian, we'll see Reed Dunbar take over for Darcy Mitchell. Ohio Christian has played some good basketball this season. And the biggest struggle that they've had is putting together back-to-back -to -back halves. For three from Bollard. Bollard for three. And she now has eight to lead all scores for the Trailblazers, and it's a 23-21 game. Underneath the Dumas, Dumas will get an easy look from Glafung, and the Vikings push it back to four as Nadia Dumas has six for Cleveland State. For the Trailblazers, they've had a very good first half or a very good second half. Some of the games they've lost, they have played great in the first half, but due to large minutes, have not been able to sustain it in the second half. Other times they've gone off to slow starts and used that energy in the second half. Vikings are out and running, and we got a traveling call against Guafung. She caught it, shifted her feet, then took the long stride, even though she laid it in. It will not count. And the Vikings have a four-point advantage. There you see the quick shuffle before she took the one step and got it off the glass. Interim coach Alyssa Strickland in her first season. Dunbar with a basketball near the logo, left side to Bolliard. Bolliard into the corner it goes. Coons has it. Out of Dunbar. Dunbar in the mid block, or check that. Gillum in the mid block. Back to Dunbar. Outside of Norris. Norris going to try to travel through a couple of folks. Take it away. Steele out in front. Smith with the easy lay in. Coast to coast for Cleveland State. Gabriella Smith now with 10. She's the first player into double figures for either squad. Six point lead for Cleveland State. Curl pass inside. Dunbar will fire for three. Ball's off the rim, no good. Zinevska with another rebound for Cleveland State. Zinevska ahead, right side it goes. Brittany Moore will corral it, launch a three, got it. A whistle and a timeout by Ohio Christian. Melissa Strickland's got to slow the run down as the lead has reached nine with 6.44 to go. A third.
to 21, 644 to play in the first half. The Horizon League is comprised of 12 public and private institutions located in some of the largest and most vibrant cities in the country. There are 11.5 million television households in the HL footprint, and viewers consume more than 35 million minutes of Horizon League action over the last year. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com. Here in Cleveland, the Vikings have a nine-point advantage. It's been as close as two at 23-21. Cleveland's lead on a 7-0 run to open it back up. The Ohio Christian University Trailblazers giving the Vikings a little bit of a fight this afternoon. Cleveland State perfect on the season, looking to stay that way. Underneath is Gillum, turnaround good. Rachel Gillum with eight. She ties Rachel Bolliard for the team lead. Vikings will stay on the outside on the offensive end. Down low it goes. Foul called against Nadia Dumas who missed the shot but will go to the free throw line where she's 61% on the year. Dumas' first is up and good. Nadia Dumas now with seven points today, four rebounds. Now you're going to look at the foul called against Taylor Norris. Morris's first foul of the day. Dumas looking for her eighth point. She's three of three from the field. And now one of two from the line. She'll stay at seven. 31-23, Vikings by eight. Norris with the basketball near the hash. Hounded there by Moore. Ball's tip knocked away, taken away by Smith. Collision, down goes Borland. Smith will take it to the rack and get the right-handed lay-in. Gabriella Smith with 12. She leads all scorers. Coons to the corner. Leaves it there for McClure. Now Norris with the basketball. She'll work topside. Picked up by Moore. Curls a pass to Rachel Gillum. Gillum at the foul line. Crossover outside. Coons has it momentarily. Ball is kicked. Rolled through the key ahead to Zinevska off to Smith Smith blocked from behind nice run down by Norris but the rebound comes to Smith who then puts it back up and in Gabriella Smith with 14 as she stays hot from the field six of ten on the afternoon is Gabriella Smith including a couple of three-pointers and the Vikings have a 12-point advantage it's their largest of the afternoon three in the air by Coons is no good a rebound by Moore she'll kick it out to Smith Smith's gonna have to run it down and save it can't get there out of bounds, and we'll flip it over to Ohio Christian. Back to Ohio Christian, number one, Madison Midland. Vikings number 24, Deja Williams. Deja Williams back for Cleveland State. Couple of trailblazer changes. Madison Winland will check in. Winland, a 5'11 freshman out of Zanesville. Also back, Reed Dunbar, the freshman from Columbus. McClure with it, baseline, double team there. Gets bumped by Smith, that's Smith's second, in disagreement, but she did push McClure just a little bit off her pins. Yeah, moving in there, tight call by the book probably. Gillum outside to Winland. Winland topside to Norris. Norris now will back it out. They'll reset with 10 to shoot. Norris crossover back to Gillum. Gillum at the elbow. Gillum outside. It goes to Dunbar. Three to shoot. Now to Norris. Norris is going to have to launch one. She does. Throws up a wild three. And got it to go. Are you kidding me? Taylor Norris with a prayer as she raised one of the rafters and it fell. 35 26. The Trailblazers hanging around. Dumas backs down her defender as she pushed Gillum into the lane and gets the bucket off the window for Nadia Dumas, who has 10 today, or make that nine. 
for their steal by Cleveland State. Ahead to Williams. Williams going to go all the way to the rack. Gets the hoop and the harm. Basket falls, and Williams will go to the line to shoot the bonus one. Taylor Norris picks up her second foul. Deja Williams to the free throw line for the first time today. There you're going to look at it. As Williams used her right hand and her bonnet to ward off contact. Got enough on the shot to get it to go. Missed the free throw. And it remains a 13-point advantage, 39-26. Gillum to Dunbar, back to Gillum. Gillum in the mid-block. Gillum spinning off the window, no good. Looked like it hit the side of the backboard. Ball is still loose. Gillum's going to come away with it. Off to Norris, and she'll get called for the show-and-go travel. And with that, the Vikings will take over again. Another turnover for Ohio Christian. Look at this prayer thrown up by Norris. Time ticking down, one on the shot clock, falling away to the right side, and she's still got her body square enough to get a good look and threw it in for the three-pointer. Unbelievable. Each school now with six turnovers. Moore is going to launch a three. Well short underneath. Gillum with a rebound out to Bulliard. Off to Norris. Norris in the traffic. Norris still dribbling. Manages to find her way out of the trees. Now on the right side to Bulliard. She missed the push shot from 12. Rebound by Gofong out to Williams. Williams kicks it to Moore. Moore going to throw a three. Across the rim, no good. Gofung with a rebound. Fights with Gillum underneath and gets it to go. Mel Guafung with her first two today. And the Vikings are up 15 late second quarter. 41-26, Cleveland State on top. Another turnover, anticipation. Moore with the steal, ahead to Smith. Smith's gonna have to run it down, but slow it down. Now back under the Moore and got it to go. Vikings worked it down low. I don't think that was the intent but Smith found her way from the baseline. Moore continued on, followed the play, found herself open underneath and got the easy bucket. Moore now with five. 43-26. Gillum is blocked by Dumas, who's given away about three inches. Out to Williams, Williams underneath to Dumas. Dumas with the stop, the go, and the drop. Nice athletic move by Nadia Dumas, who now has 11. Second Viking player into double figures is Nadia Dumas. Norris is going to get called for a charge, player control. And that's three on Norris here in the first half. Taylor Norris, the junior from Salem, Missouri, transferred out of Missouri Baptist University. Vikings will make a quick sub. Geraci will check in. Moore checks out. Geraci is back, hasn't scored today, does have a couple of assists and a rebound. Dumas underneath, blocked in the double team, ball is loose, got it back to Dumas, then forced the jump ball as Coons and her got locked up. Ball will belong to Cleveland State. They'll have 16 to shoot with 113 to play here in the first half. Novea McClure checks in. McClure back for the Trailblazers. Williams going to throw a three, nothing but net. Asia Williams with eight, as she has a couple of three-pointers. It's 48-26. The Vikings are pulling away. Remember, this was a 23-21 game. That's a 25-5 run for Cleveland State. We got a whistle and a foul underneath. Foul is on Mel Guafung. Guafung's first. Cleveland State now whistled for their fourth foul. Free throw is up and good. As Emma Coons is at the free throw line. Coons somewhat of a local product. Emma Coons out of Massillon, the Massillon area. Went to Tuslaw High School officially. Emma Coons from North Lawrence, Ohio. One of those small burgs down in 
Stark County. Smith for three, it's good. Gabby Smith stays hot, 17 in the first half for Gabby Smith, three of six from behind the arc, seven of 11 on the afternoon. Gabby Smith had 16 against St. Bonaventure, 17 today. Got a whistle and a foul call, traveling call. Rachel Bolliard called for the travel. Bolliard out of Streetsboro. Ohio Christian with a about, they brought about 25 or 30 folks with them this afternoon. Nice little contingency. Vikings 51-28 leaders, four seconds to go and a traveling call on Williams as the Vikings were looking for the final shot. Instead, it'll belong to Ohio Christian. The Trailblazers will have the basketball, three seconds to go. Borland's gonna throw one from half court and she got it to go! Rachel Bulliard from 50 off the window and good at the break. That's a couple of prayers that have been answered today for the Trailblazers. Nothing the Vikings can do on that one, but it is a 20 point lead going to the break for Cleveland State who played a very good first half. Gabriella Smith led the way 17 points, Nadia Dumas Five of six from the floor, 11 points in the first half for the Vikings. Cleveland State had eight players see action today. Seven of them have already scored. And Cleveland State, a very efficient first half. Halftime coming up as you get a look there at Rachel Bulliard's three-pointer from more than half court. Cleveland State 51, Ohio Christian 31. This is Cleveland State Vikings basketball.
This is the three-pointer at the shot clock for Norris. Vikings also can shoot from the outside. Gabby Smith, the leading scorer for Cleveland State with 17. You see three there. And there's the halftime shot by Rachel Bullyhart. She has 11 points on the afternoon. We'll take a timeout, come back, get everybody set for second half action. Third quarter about ready. State looking for a trip back to Indianapolis as they have the last couple of years. Last year they dropped a tough one in the semifinals. They go on to the WBI Invitational. Vikings defeated three straight schools including Manhattan, Stetson, and Portland to win the WBI Championship and raise the banner here in 21-22. We are underway from the Wolstein Center third quarter. Ohio Christian in the road blues. 
Trimmed in white, Cleveland State in the home whites, trimmed in green. Push shot to start with, we got an early whistle and an early foul called against Ohio Christian. It's a charge whistle against Emma Coons. It's Coons' first, first on OCU here in the third quarter. Williams with the basketball, Gradwell with a fadeaway. Off the rim, no good, rebound by Reed Dunbar. Now we got a whistle and collision underneath. Dunbar contested with the Vikings, Isabel Gradwell. And Reed Dunbar will get whistled for the foul. For Dunbar, her first. Dunbar has not scored today, taking just one shot. Vikings will get the ball back. This is Gradwell from the foul line. Set shot, rattles away. A whistle as Cleveland State made contact with the ball out of bounds, so it'll go to the Trail Blazers. Pulleyarder walk it ahead. Vikings up 20. Gillum. Out near the foul line, leaves it for Bulliard, weaves through traffic to the left wing. Or Coons misses a shot. Darcy Mitchell, Rachel Bolin, Emma Coons, Rachel Gillum, and Reed Dunbar out there for Ohio Christian. The Vikings counter underneath with Nadia Dumas. She's joined by Gabriella Smith, Isabella, or Isabel Gradwell, Deja Williams, and Barbara Zanievska. Dunbar to the right wing. Bolliard with a basketball. Cut off, has to leave it for Dunbar. Over the head pass underneath to Mitchell. And now we got a whistle inside. And a traveling call by Darcy Mitchell. Vikings will get it back. Gradwell will trigger. She'll bring it into the Vikings point guard. Deja Williams getting the start today in place of Destiny Leo. Leo just with a day off. This will be Zinyeska for three and she drains it. Barbara Zinyeska now two of five from outside. Those two three pointers matches her total from all season. She was two of 10 coming in. Trailblazers tried a little give and go. Zinyeska with a steal, throws it ahead to Williams. Williams holds the tight rope on the right sideline. Now a little Showmanship as she goes to the hoop. Does Deja Williams? She has 10 third player in double figures. Timeout called by Alyssa Strickland and the Trailblazers. This is a 30 second that extends to a full. We'll take a full as you get a look at the showmanship of Deja Williams.
Vikings with a 7-0 run to open the third quarter. Looking to move to 9-0 on the season right now with a 27-point lead on the Ohio Christian Trailblazers out of the River States Conference and the NAIA. This was a 23-21 ball game at one point. And the Blazers had some momentum. There's another turnover by OCU. Dumas catches it. We'll leave it for Zinevska. Right side it goes. Williams will circle inside, kick it out to Gabby Smith. Smith will drop it down low to Mel Guafung. Too hard off the window. No good. Rebound by Madison Winland. Winland ahead. Ball is loose. Double team tried to break by Mitchell. Ball got loose and Zinevska came up with it. Zinevska to Smith, top side to Williams, right side Barbara Zinevska, another three in the air, this one's short. Rebound underneath, we got a jump ball on the loose ball, far side, and Cleveland State will maintain. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Here comes Taylor Norris back in, she'll take over for Rachel Bolliard. Norris comes back in with eight points, Bolliard sits down with a Team high, 11. Williams lobs one to Dumas at the foul line. Turnaround jumper, circles the drain and falls. Nadia Dumas. Nadia Dumas with 15. Also has six rebounds, second on the club today. 60 to 31. Winland with the basketball, bounce pass left side to Norris. Norris inside to Gillum. Gillum tried to go baseline to Coons as it went knocked away. Mel Guafong underneath. So Winland will sit down. Quick substitution for the Trailblazers. Here's Emma Shelton, 5'10 sophomore, or take that 5'10 freshman swing from Jasper, Indiana. Vikings will also make a change. Back is Brittany Moore. Gillum outside. Coons for three across the rim, no good. Guafong with a rebound. She'll pull it down and leave it for more right side it goes to Williams cross court pass to Smith Smith thought about bounce pass now she'll take a three hits the heel high rebound Guafung with a rebound and a push underneath on Mel Guafung foul is called on Darcy Mitchell of Ohio Christian so for Mitchell her second Vikings will inbound Second on the team here in the third quarter for the Trailblazers. Williams to Guafung, foul line, holds the pivot, gives it to Smith. Smith down the lane, floater, hard, no good. A rebound, Dumas underneath, put back, good. Nadia Dumas with 17. Against Quincy, she had a double-double, 12 and 10, looking for another one today, 15 and seven for Dumas. Coons with a push from the baseline, good. Six-footer falls. For Emma Coons, now with six, and it's a 62-33 game. Smith for three, no good. Long rebound, gonna be run down by Norris. Norris, one on two, she's gonna slow it down and pull it back out before it's knocked away by Williams. Blazers will have it. Rachel Bolliard returns. Here comes Geraci for Cleveland State. She'll take over for Williams. Geraci, the only Viking to have played today, not to have scored. Vikings have only gone eight deep due to load management and injuries. Geraci is tripped from behind by Emma Coons for Coons, her second. Madison Winland in, and Emma Shelton will take a seat. Shelton plays just 90 seconds before taking the break. Vikings by 29, 62-33, Cleveland State on top. Smith will walk it ahead, kick it right side, Geraci drops it low for Raven Harris, who gets the bucket. Harris has just checked in, and she has her first two. Raven Harris on the season, averaging just five minutes per game. She has played in all in five of the six. There's a floater, no good. Off of Gilliman out of bounds, and the Vikings will have it. 
Official timeout on the floor, 4.53 to play here in the third quarter. Cleveland State with a 31-point advantage. Vikings Cleveland State huddle as Chris Kilsmeyer talking to his club as they lead at 64-33 here at the Wolstein Center. The 1HL group is a student athlete-led initiative that seeks to celebrate unity and inclusion while also bringing meaningful change across the horizon league by encouraging student athletes to be the change. Projects have included the annual Coach John McClendon Day, voter registration drives, and celebrations around diversity and inclusion. Learn more at horizonlink.com slash 1HL or by searching hashtag 1HL on social media. Vikings are on a 41 to 12 run. Make it 43 to 12 and one coming at the line as Raven Harris Gets back-to-back -back hoops for Cleveland State, and she'll look to the line, or go to the line to look for five today. Foul is on Rachel Gillum. That is her second. Fifth now on Ohio Christian here in the third quarter. One shot coming for Harris. Harris knocks it down. That's her first made free throw of the season. She was 0 for 2 coming in. And the Vikings have a 67-33 lead. Well, knocked away and saved by Mel Guafong, and the Vikings are out and running. Smith's going to go to the other end and lay it in. Abby Smith with 19. Boy, that was pretty on both ends. Winland has it blocked by Guafong. Out to Geraci, and the Vikings will push again. Geraci lobs it inside, got tipped and knocked away. Bolliard has it, she'll weave her way to the other end. That one is off the glass, no good. It was contested by Guafung, but not tipped. Geraci to Smith, to Haven, Raven Harris underneath, she missed. Guafung fighting for the rebound, controlled by Gillum. Outlet will be left there for Emma Coons. Boland's gonna throw one up. Bully heard from the hash mark, missed the shot, rebound Windler, uh, Windland underneath. She wanted a foul, didn't get one. 
Brittany Moore has the basketball, tipped it and knocked it loose. Off to Raven Harris from Geraci, back to Geraci between the circles. Now underneath to Raven Harris. And Harris will get fouled. The foul is by Madison Winland. Winland's first and the 5'11 Winler, Winland will have to go to the bench. Here comes Reed Dunbar back in the 5'6 guard. Harris to shoot two, one for three on the season, one for one today. Harris with five points, make it six. And she is one of eight Vikings to have scored today. Nine Cleveland State players have seen action. Geraci the only one without a point as Harris hits them both. 71-33. A 20 to two run here in the quarter. Another steal by Cleveland State. Williams out with it. Williams is fouled as she went up for the shot. Coons tried to help her up. Williams was looking for her own teammates. And got a lift there from Moore and Guafung. There you see the look. And then there's Coons trying to help her up. And the Vikings end up coming in to Get Williams back to her feet. Williams, two shots. First one is good. Williams now one for two from the line. 11 points for Williams, the sophomore for Long Beach, California. Transferred here to Cleveland State after playing a season at Cal State Northridge. 73-33, Cleveland State leaders by 20. Or make that leaders by 40. They've outscored Ohio Christian by 20 in the quarter. Coons with a bank shot. And it's good for Emma Coons, who now has eight. Harris underneath, turnaround good. Raven Harris with nine. Two and a half to play in the third quarter, and it's a runaway for Cleveland State. 75-35, Vikings by 40. Coons to Dunbar, underneath, back to Coons, blocked by Guafung. Bounce pass behind the back, no good, but Gillum has it, finds control, and gets the left-handed shot to fall. Does Rachel Gillum who had been on a tear today, just 10 points for Gillum. Guafung down the lane, uncontested for the lay-in. Mel Guafung has four, she's two of three from the field. 77-37, Cleveland State. Bolliard to Coons, into the corner it goes. McClure blocked by Guafung. Ball is still loose, controlled by Reed Dunbar, who gets the layup as she took it down the lane. Cleveland State came in averaging five blocks per game. Today, that number has not gone down. Cleveland State with five blocks today. Brittany Moore knocks down a three-pointer. Moore has eight. Vikings could have six players in double figures today. McClure as the Trailblazers will swing it left side. Now back to McClure. McClure with a push shot, no good. Foul on Harris, and McClure will go to the free throw line. McClure is scoreless today. 0 for 1 from the field. It was a three-point attempt. And Coach Gilsmeyer wants a 30-second timeout. So it'll be a 30-second break. We'll keep it here. As Cleveland State will talk about it momentarily. Here for Cleveland State's a three-pointer. This is Brittany Moore, the right-hander. Circles one in. 
Moore today, three of five from the floor, eight points, two rebounds, three assists. Cleveland State is led today by Gabriella Smith, who has 19 points, three rebounds, and four assists. Nadia Dumas right behind her, 17.7 boards. Deja Williams, the third player in double figures, 12 points and two rebounds. Raven Harris with nine, Zinevska with eight, Brittany Moore with eight. Mel Fung has four, along with five rebounds. Gradwell with three, including a free throw. And Isabella Geraci has yet to score, but does have five assists and four rebounds. Nevaeh McClure at the free throw line. McClure, a 5-1 sophomore from Westerville South Ohio, or Westerville South High School out of the Columbus area. First one is good for McClure, her first points today. One for one from the line, make it two of two. McClure has them both, and it's an 80 to 41 game. Cleveland State leaders by 39. Gradwell for three, across the rim, no good. Geraci tried to run down the loose ball before it was picked up by Bolliard. Bolliard left side of McClure. McClure working against Moore. McClure in traffic, has to give it off to Bolliard. Bolliard will work between the circles. Spin move on Moore. Now backs it in front of the bench, gets a pick. Right side it goes. Down low to Dunbar. Dunbar back outside to Bolliard. Top side and. Nevaeh McClure for three. She missed everything. It was an air ball with four seconds to go on the shot clock. Vikings will get it back. Shot clock is now off as we're just under 17 seconds to play in the quarter. Cleveland State 80. Ohio Christian 41. Gradwell for three and she drains it. Gradwell with six as the third quarter comes to a close. And the Vikings, who led by 20 at the break, now lead by 42 after an impressive third quarter that saw Cleveland State score 32 points. They outscored Ohio Christian 32 to 10 and now lead it 83-41. This is Cleveland State.
43-41 lead as the Vikings have outscored Ohio Christian University 32 to 10 in the third quarter. And since the start of the first quarter, or end of the first quarter, start of the second quarter, 62-26. Vikings are throttling the Trailblazers. Just for some perspective, this was a 23-21 game at one point. It is a 60-20 advantage for Cleveland State. We got a travel call or a three second violation called on Ohio Christian. Another turnover for the Trailblazers. Three in the air is good. Brittany Moore. Brittany Moore now with 11. She's the fourth Viking to double figures. 86-41, Dunbar outside to Coons. Coons for three, that one hits the heel, ricochets away. Geraci with a long rebound run down for Cleveland State. Leaves it for Williams, now back to Geraci. Geraci into the forecourt, left side to Moore. Moore with the ball above her head, goes to the foul line, Guafung outside to Geraci, who stepped on the sideline in front of the Cleveland State bench. It's a turnover for Cleveland State. That's Cleveland State's 10th turnover. There's another look at Brittany Moore and her three-pointer. She has three today, three three-pointers. Ties her with Smith for the team high. Gillum underneath. Got Guafung elevated. Got the basket and picked up the foul, did Mel Guafung. So Gillum will go to the free throw line. Gillum with 12, looking for 13. Fung now with her second foul. First on Cleveland State. Gillum will take a seat with her 13 points. 86-44, Cleveland State. Fung through traffic, missed the shot, but was fouled. Lily Martin, I believe, the guilty party. It, it is on Lily Martin. First foul on Martin. You see Guafung break the double team and Martin give the body block right there in the mid post. So Guafung to the free throw line where today her first trip and she missed. Guafung on the season just a 53% free throw shooter, 22 of 42 coming in. And missed them both. Now 22 of 44, that's a 50% shooting percentage from the line. Foul in the front court by Deja Williams, that's her first. Eight and a half minutes to go in the basketball game. Cleveland State leaders by 42. Bounce pass inside of Dunbar. Dunbar's gonna go to the glass and lay it in. Reed Dunbar with four, and the lead is back to 40. Geraci drives a pass down low to Raven Harris. We have a whistle, and a foul before the shot. Nevaeh McClure in as Darcy Mitchell will sit down. No basket, the Vikings instead will have it underneath the hoop. Off to Williams, Williams back to Geraci. Geraci top side to Williams, swing it left wing to the Vikes. To Brittany Moore, now to Guafung. Guafung is pushed by Emma Coons. Coons is third. It will now be four, I believe, on third personal foul, not fourth, for the club. Three in the air by Moore. Catches in the triangle, bounces down to Bolliard. Head to Coons, Coons off to Dunbar. Dunbar outside to McClure. McClure for three, swish. McClure twickles the, tickles the twine. McClure has five, we got a whistle and a timeout called for.
Bears with an impressive second and third quarters to blow this one open. Fayetteville State leading Ohio Christian 86-49. Ed Doherty with you on ESPN Plus this afternoon as the Vikings look to go 9-0. The Horizon League is one of the most storied basketball conferences in the country with NCAA and WINT tournament victories last season and four teams reaching postseason play in 2019. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com or by searching hashtag HLWBB on social media. That's not to mention Cleveland State's win in WBI. Well, they won three straight over three days to host the banner. There's Guafung underneath, Mel Guafung with six. And the Vikings are back up by 39. On the floor for Cleveland State, Guafung, Smith, Harris, Deja Williams, and Isabella Geraci. Three in the air by Bolin, no good. Bolliard misses. And the Vikings have it. Geraci out and running. Geraci Euro step. Geraci missed the shot. Ball loose. Geraci looking to be the last Viking player to score. We have a whistle, a tie up, jump ball. Arrow favors the Vikings. Gabriella Smith with 19. Nadia Dumas with 17. Deja Williams and Brittany Moore in double figures, 12 and 11, respectfully. Here's the ball loose. You see Harris go down for it. And Williams actually come up with it. Harris underneath, soft touch, too hard though. Guafung tried to save it, stepped on the baseline. Trailblazers will have it. They trail by 39. Their leading scorer today, Rachel Gillum, 13 points, eight rebounds. Rachel Bulliard also has double figures. She has 11. That one is missed and Smith with a rebound for Cleveland State, long pass ahead to Williams. Williams will bring it into the forecourt. Leave it for Geraci. Looking for her first points. Missed wide right on the three. Guafung with the rebound. Missed the shot, but will shoot two as Guafung will go to the free throw line, whereas she is a 50% free throw shooter on the season. 22 of 44. 0 for 2 today. Good for Mel Guafung, now with seven points, six rebounds. Splits the pair, stays at 50%, does Guafung. Bullyard with the basketball, top side of Coons. Coons right wing, it goes to McClure. McClure down low to Winland. Winland inside to Martin. Back out to Bulliard. Looking for Martin on the baseline, not there. Guafung with a steal and leaves it for Geraci. Geraci calmly into the front court to Williams on the right side. 5.55 to play in the ball game. Vikings in a blowout this afternoon. Geraci to Guafung. Turn around at the free throw line, nothing there. Back to Geraci. They swing it left wing to the Vikings. Smith for three, in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Rachel Bulliard. 89-49, Vikings by 40. Nevea McClure off to Rachel Bulliard. Madison Winland into the corner. Coons has it to the baseline for Lily Martin. She missed the push shot, rebound by Ohio Christian. Out to Bulliard, Bulliard for three. That one is short, no legs in it. Hit the front of the rim. Loose on the floor and we have a whistle and a tie up and it will belong to the Ohio Christian Trailblazers. The Vikings will be 9-0 following today's victory. 7-0 on the floor, 9-0 overall as they did get a couple of forfeits in there. 4-0 in the Horizon League, they'll stay perfect. As their next Horizon League game is until December 30th when they go to RMU to take on the Robert Morris Colonials. In between there, there is a game on Tuesday night here at the Wolstein Center. The Vikings will take on Loyola of Chicago. The Ramblers, former members 
of the Horizon League. Halfway through the fourth quarter here, steal by Guafung. Guafung's gonna run the floor to the rack and gets it to go. Mel Guafung with a steal to run out the lane. And Mel Guafung now with nine on the afternoon. Winland to the rack, high off the glass, no good. Raven Harris with the rebound, outlet to Brittany Moore. Moore ahead to Gabriella Smith, Smith to Harris. Harris left side, Geraci for three, no good, air ball. Underneath the rebound, put back, Smith came in the weak side and got it to go. Gabrielle Smith now with 21. Bowling long, Geraci with a rebound. Geraci may not have scored, but she's got seven boards today. This is Smith on the run out after the assist from Moore. 23 for Smith, a whistle and a timeout. Nope, whistle and a injury review. Madison Winland went running out behind the basket momentarily. Angie Enlin wanted to check on her before we restarted. 95-49 Cleveland State. Winland, 15-footer, no good. Rebound, Guafung. Bobs it to Moore. Moore will jog it ahead. Moore on the left side. Top side of Geraci. Fires one underneath to Harris. Harris too strong. Harris with a rebound. Missed again. Rebound. Winland who leaves it there for Bolliard. Vikings have four players in double figures. Two more with nine apiece. Zinyeska has eight. Big three. Air ball. No good from Madison Winland. Winland, the freshman wing from Zanesville. Winland will take a seat. Taylor Norris is back on. Norris returns with four fouls and eight points. Three from Moore, no good. Guafung with a rebound, no good. Harris with a rebound, no good. Harris with another rebound to Geraci, left side Smith. Smith gonna fire the three, no good. Rebound Cleveland State, another board by Moore. Moore with a runner and got it to go. Brittany Moore has 13. 2.50 to go. Vikings at 97, looking for a 100 point game. They might get it, Geraci gonna try to run, run out for Geraci to Moore, and she missed the layup. Brittany Moore missed the gimme. Three from Norris in and out, no good. Rebound by Harris. Harris to Moore and they'll slow it down with two and a half to go. Ahead to Smith. Smith with a crossover. Smith in traffic. Smith to Moore. Moore spots for three, no good. Into the triangle. Off the window. Collapsed out of bounds. Off of, I believe, goes off of Ohio Christian. It does. Kylie Goodlett. The freshman from Akron, who went to Coventry High School, lost control, and the Vikings will inbound with 2.18 and 16 on the shot clock. To the outside, Moore for three, in and out, no good. Guafung with a rebound, Guafung with a putback, no good. Harris got the rebound and dropped it in. Harris has 11, the Vikings have 99. It's a 50-point advantage for Cleveland State. Steal, take away, back to McClure. McClure with a push shot, no good. Rebound Raven Harris. Harris ahead to Smith, Smith to the outside. Geraci spots for three, got it! Isabella Geraci, the last Viking in the scorebook and she got it to go. Geraci 3.7 rebounds, six assists today. That one is good. Taylor Norris is in double figures. She has 10, three. Trailblazers in double figures. Norris, Bulliard, and Gillum all in double figures. Amel Guafung is not in double figures for Cleveland State, but she's on the verge of a double-double. That's Harris underneath. She gets the hoop and the harm. Raven Harris has 13. Harris going to the free throw line looking for 14. 
as the Vikings are at 104 this afternoon. Harris missed. One oh four fifty one Cleveland State today. Minutes ago in the ball game. We'll talk with head coach Chris Kilsmeyer at the end of today's game. McClure. Outside, McClure going to get it to Gillum. We got a whistle and a traveling call on Rachel Gillum. 46 seconds to go. Vikings 104-51 leaders. Cleveland State with five players in double figures. Amel Guafung didn't get there today. Nine and nine for her. Barbara Zanievska did not get the double figures, but she had an eight and eight ball game. So Cleveland State will just dribble this one out. No reason to launch a shot at this point. Guafung's going to work underneath, kick it back outside of Geraci off of Smith. Smith going to throw up a three. No good. A rebound pulled in by Norris. Surprised that Smith launched the three. Ball is loose. Moore's going to have it in the front court. Moore with 13 seconds going to give up the shot and pull it down, and the Vikings will dribble it out. So the teams will head to the bench as Cleveland State wins it today as the horn sounds. 104-51. Now remember, today's game was a replacement. Cleveland State originally scheduled to play Hofstra here at the Wolstein Center. Ohio Christian, the Trailblazers from the NAIA, came in and were able to take that place and see to it that the Vikings would have a home game and the ability to get back on the floor after being without a game for 15 days. And Cleveland State a winner today, 104-51. With the win, Cleveland State now 9-0 on the season, and the Vikings stay at 4-0 in conference play. For the Trailblazers, they fall to 4-5, although this does not actually count. In